thy son, that thou mayest be found just in thy sentence and upright in thy judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and since did my mother conceive me. Lo, thou dost delight in sincerity, and shalt make me to understand wisdom in the depths of my heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear the sounds of joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou hast no delight in sacrifice. If I brought thee an offering, thou wouldst not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a humble and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good to Zion in thy good pleasure. Build anew the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offerings and oblations. Then shall thou young bulls be offered on thy altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. When the stone had been sealed by the Jews, while the soldiers were guarding thy most pure body, thou didst arise on the third day, O Savior, granting life to the world. The powers of heaven, therefore, cry to thee, O giver of life. Glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Glory to thy kingdom. Glory to thy dispensation, O thou who lovest mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We venerate thy most pure image, O good one, and we ask forgiveness of our transgressions, O Christ our God. Of thy good will, thou wilt be pleased to ascend the cross in the flesh and to deliver thy creatures from bondage to the enemy. Therefore, with thankfulness, we cry aloud to thee. Thou hast filled all things with joy, O our Savior, for thou didst come to save the world, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Thou, Theotokos, art the true vine, who bore for us the fruit of life, Entreat him, we beseech thee, O Lady, together with the apostles and all the saints, to have mercy on our souls. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord always. The God of our salvation shall prosper us, for our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. <clears throat> holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who <clears throat> trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and the ages of ages. Amen. No one could describe the word of the Father, but when he took flesh from the O Theotokos, he accepted to be described and restored the fallen image to its former state by uniting it to divine beauty. We profess and proclaim our salvation in word and images. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Thou who hath every season, every hour in heaven and on earth, <clears throat> and worship and glorify, O Christ our God, long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who loveth the just and showeth mercy upon the sinner, who calleth all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments, sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, and deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Compass us with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by their hosts, 
we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine ineffable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou corruption, thou givest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, bless, Master. Amen. O God, Almighty Father and Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, and Thou, O Holy Spirit, one divinity, one power, and have mercy upon me, a sinner, and according to Thy divine judgment, save me, Thy unworthy servant, for blessed art Thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by thy name, and vindicate me through thy might. In my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and violent men seek my life. They have not set God before their eyes. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is the upholder of my life. He will requite my enemies with evil, and in thy truth destroy them. I will freely sacrifice unto thee, and will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all my trouble, and my eye hath looked with triumph on my enemies. Hear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend to me and answer me, I mourn in anguish and trouble. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, where they bring down evil upon me and in anger they revolve me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. Fear and trouble come upon me, and horror overwhelms me. And I said, O then, if wings like a dove, for then I would fly away and be at rest. Though then, when I wander far away and remain in the wilderness, Swiftly would I seek refuge for myself from the raging wind and tempest. Destroy their tongues, O Lord, and divide them, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about its wells, wickedness and sorrow are within it. Injustice is within its midst, deceit and thou depart not from its streets. Were an enemy who insulted me, I would have borne it. Were my adversary who rose up against me, I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, my equal, my companion, my friend, with whom I kept pleasant company and walked into the house of God. May death come upon them, and may they go not alive with the shale, for wickedness is in their dwellings and in their midst. But I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning at noon I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He will deliver me in peace from them that assail me, for many are against me. God will give ear and humble them, he who is then from the hold, for there is no change in them, and they do not fear God. Each should stretch forth his hands against the skull of his broken faith. The speech of his mouth was smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than all, yet with his sharp as drawn swords. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But thou, O God, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Men of blood and deceit shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, who abides in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. For he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of thy servants. He shall cover thee with his pinions, and under his wings shall thou find refuge. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not fear the terror of the night, nor the air that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that waits this noonday. Though a thousand fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, it shall not come nigh thee. But with thine eyes thou shalt behold and see the recompense of the wicked. For the Lord is thy refuge, thou hast made the most high thy defense. There shall no evil befall thee, nor shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. In their hands they shall bear thee up, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the ass and the viper, the lion and the dragon, thou shalt trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him to show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. When the stone had been sealed by the Jews, while the soldiers were guarding thy most pure body, thou didst arise on the third day, O Savior, granting life to the world. The powers of heaven therefore cry to thee, O giver of life. Glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Glory to thy kingdom. Glory to thy dispensation, O thou who lovest mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
Today we sing the praises of the poor priest of the beginning of universal joy. For behold, Gabriel approaches, bearing the tidings to the virgin, and he cries out to her, Hail, O thou who art full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Now endeavor not to ages of ages, amen. As we lack courage because of the multitude of our sins, intercede, O Virgin Theotokos, with the Son whom thou hast born, for the Master will be moved by his mother's prayer. Despise not, O all venerable lady, the petitions of us sinners, for he who consented to suffer for us is merciful and able to save us. Let thy compassion come speedily to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of thy name. Deliver us and forgive our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, this is and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. <clears throat> Amen. Thou art the source of salvation for all his followers on earth, O Virgin Theotokos, for the minister of God, the great leader Gabriel, who is sent from heaven to stand before thee and bear thee the joy of grace. Therefore, we all cry to thee, rejoice, O ever virgin bride. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 who call us out to salvation to the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, have our bodies, direct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from our tribulation, evil, and distress. Compass us with thy holy angels and guide and guard of other hosts. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thy ineffable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, bless Master. Amen, O God, the Lord of all softer of all creation, when thy compassion and incomparable mercy is sent down the Lord and the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind, and by his precious cross has thrown out the record of our sins, and thereby triumphed over the princes and powers of darkness. O Master of honest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication from us sinners, and deliver us from every dark and ruinous transgression, and from all visible and invisible enemies to seek to harm us. <clears throat> may of our flesh and of fear, may us not our hearts and find to evil words and thoughts, but wound our souls with thy love that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light, and beholding thee the ineffable and everlasting life. We may send up unceasing praises and thanks to thee, the Father, without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, and thy most holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of the ages. Amen. <coughs> Of our 
and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. The archangel Gabriel proclaims to thee, Rejoice! For thou dost ineffably receive in my womb the joy that Eve lost through her transgression, O Virgin! Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. The fire of the God had neither consumed nor in any wise amazed thy womb, O Maiden. For the bush of old which burned yet was in no wise consumed, prefigured thee, O most pure one. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O virgin mountain, which Daniel foresaw in the Spirit, for from thee was the Noahic stone cut, which shall demolish the inanimate temples of the demons. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. The King of Peace comes unto thee, and through thee he shall reconcile those who have been assailed and deceived by the wicked counsel of the Spirit, O Mother of God. Wisdom, let us attend. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to thee. Alleluia. <coughs> when the storm Sealed by the Jews, while the soldiers were guarding thy most pure body. Thou is Christ on the third day, O Savior, granting life to the world, the powers of heaven, therefore, cry to the O Glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Glory to thy kingdom. Glory to thy dispensation, O thou who lovest mankind. We adore thy most clear image, O God, O one. And ask forgiveness of our transgressions, O Christ God. Of thine own will, thou must be to us and the cross in the flesh, to deliver thy creatures from bondage to the enemy. Therefore, with thanksgiving, we cry aloud to thee. Thou hast still all the joy of our Savior, by God, to save. Anticipate the peace and celebrate with exaltation. Gabriel is on his way to announce the glad tidings to the virgin. He is ready to cry out in fear and wonder. Rejoice, so full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Could describe the word of the Father, but when he took flesh from the old veil, to us be accepted to be described and restored the fallen image to its former state by uniting it to divine beauty. We confess and proclaim our salvation in word and in. of ages, amen. Thou art the beginning of salvation for all of us, honor, virgin mother of God. What a great 
like angel Gabriel, God's minister was sent from heaven to stand before thee to bring thee joy. Wherefore we all cry to thee, rejoice along with who by faith conquered kingdoms, wrought justice, received promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched raging fire, escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of weakness, became valiant in battle, put foreign armies to flight, women received their dead, raised back to life, others were tortured, refusing to accept release that they might obtain a better resurrection, Others suffered mocking and scourging, yes, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, they were tempted, they were put to death by the sword. 
They went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered over deserts and mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And all of these, though they had been approved by the testimony of faith, did not receive what was promised. For God had something better in view for us, that without us they should not be made perfect. Be and to thy spirit, in the fourth tone, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Moses and Aaron are among his priests, and Samuel among them who call on his name. Alleluia, alleluia. space and the woman at the counter was being friendly and trying to talk with me in a way that takes a little getting used to if you're a city slicker and she asked me if I was a priest and subsequently what religion I was it took me aback a little and I've been wondering why especially since I was wearing a cassock and an outer cassock and a pectoral cross but maybe you've had that experience of wanting to kind of, I don't know, shrink your religiosity when asked about it. We've all tried strategies, I think. Oh yeah, I go to church sometimes, or I grew up Orthodox, or oh you know, I get a sense of peace when I'm there. 
or even I find a great sense of community. One of the things that seems to distinguish us from other animals upon this earth is the ability to ask and wrestle with the question, who am I? Yesterday, I was in Colorado Springs to help sing away and bury a priest. So this question is sticking in my throat a little more today than usual. Who am I? But even without that experience, all of our services of this last week, hearing about the Old Testament heroes and martyrs, and having the Psalms at least start to kind of sink themselves into my soul, it's a great time to think about what it means to say, I am a follower of Jesus Christ. And what does it mean to say, with lots of humility, but also with clarity and boldness, I am an Orthodox Christian? It doesn't seem satisfying today in 2024, if it ever was, to talk about Eastern or Greek or Slavic or Romanian or whatever geographic or ethnic designation we might or might not identify with. There is something more here than an accident of history, I pray. It's more than an accident of history or genealogy that you or I chose to actually get out of bed, leave our homes, and gather as church today. This Sunday is known in our church as the Sunday of Orthodoxy, or maybe even more formally, the Triumph of Orthodoxy. On this Sunday, we confess and proclaim our salvation in words and images. This is the Triumph of Orthodoxy, but what does it mean to triumph? What is the victory of Orthodoxy? What does it even mean to be Orthodox? I like to read on this Sunday the official decree of the Seventh Ecumenical Council, at least part of it. Following the royal path and teaching divinely inspired by our Holy Fathers and the traditions of the Catholic Church, for we know that it is inspired by the Holy Spirit who lives in it, we decide in all correctness and after a thorough examination that just as the holy and life-given cross Similarly, the holy and precious icons, painted with colors, made with little stones, or with any other matter serving this purpose, should be placed in the holy churches of God, on vases and sacred vestments, on walls and boards, in houses and on roads, whether these are icons of our Lord, God, and Savior Jesus Christ, or of our spotless Sovereign Lady, the Most Holy Mother of God, or of the holy angels and of holy and venerable people. For each time that we see their representation in an image, each time, each time, while gazing on them, we are made to remember the prototypes. We grow to love them more. We grow to love them more. To me, this could be one of the answers for what is an Orthodox Christian and how Holy Orthodoxy triumphs one person, one moment, one interaction, one prayer at a time. An Orthodox Christian is someone committed to growing, to love our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lady Theotokos, and all the Holy Ones, as the decree says, more and more. We show our triumph, our love, in holy and precious icons, painted with colors, made with little stones, or with any other matter serving this purpose. Icons become the treasure of the church that is victorious in Christ, the very Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, took flesh, took flesh, and became human. When we look into the face of Jesus, we see for the first time in human history, in the human experience, an image of the invisible God. I was speaking with Archbishop Benjamin in the car yesterday in a place well known for evangelical Christianity, and we got to talk about iconoclasts, ancient and modern, 
And the Archbishop mentioned that the question really is, for him anyway, what would Moses have painted if he were to have painted an image of God? And I've been thinking about that all night. The new reality, the totally changed perspective in the Church of the New Testament is that the Lord of all took on flesh for our salvation and died and rose again and is seated at the right hand of his Father with his flesh, the same flesh that you or I have, at the right hand of the Father on high, reigning now in the church. And the signs of this triumphant, victorious reign are the icons, visible images of the Son of God, who chose to make himself visible in our midst. We catch a glimpse of this in today's reading, a reading which both of the readings today actually harken back to an earlier commemoration of the Holy Prophets on this Sunday. But of course, for the prophets, vision plays a key role. Philip, who has begun to follow Jesus, preaches the good news to his friend Nathaniel. He says, we have found him, we have found him, of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Notice a specific human, someone you can see. When Nathaniel is doubtful, Philip doesn't try to convince him. He doesn't try to argue him into faith. St. John Chrysostom suggests that Nathaniel could have said, Philip, you deceive me. You speak falsely. I don't believe you. I will not come. But he said nothing like this, but went to the Lord himself. And Philip doesn't waste any time proof texting. He merely invites, come and see. He offers to show Nathaniel the Lord, come and see. Our God is not an idea. We can hear his voice and touch his hands. We can put our fingers in the wounds. Amazing. We can look upon his face. And of course, if we grow in our love, if we become more and more children of God the Father, we will grow in our love of our fellow humans. We will take that same energy and love we have for the Lord and his mother and his saints that we so vividly show by bowing twice, kissing the holy image, and then bowing again. We will take that same energy and apply that to our interactions with our loved ones, our families, our friends, our fellow parishioners, and even more, to everyone and anyone created in the image and likeness of God. We practiced doing this this last Sunday evening at Forgiveness Vespers. And it's interesting, we practice this kind of bowing, venerating of a human at every funeral of any Christian, great or weak, well-known or unknown, priest or someone who merely darkens the door once a year. We do the same vows and veneration of the icon of Christ in the person lying before us. So let's take our love of Jesus Christ and commit, <coughs> commit it to growing. Let's grow in our love of his mother. We'll have a very powerful way to spend time with the, this precious young maiden, the bride of God, who was not married to any man, when she hears the words of the Archangel in tonight's festival vigil and tomorrow's really special evening divine liturgy for the Annunciation, let's grow in love for the Holy Ones of all time, and let's grow in love for each other. As we enter the second week of the Great Fast, I think my suggestion is to be intentional about how we interact with everyone we come into contact with. Maybe very intentionally take that one coworker that stresses us out, a stranger on the street, and intentionally think of that person as an icon of Christ. <clears throat> I'm not suggesting actually walking up to strangers and bowing before them, although Christians have done that kind of thing as a witness. But in your heart, you can imagine, what would it be like if this person were someone I would make a prostration before. If we do this, we will appreciate more deeply how Christ has already opened heaven to us and offered to us and made real for us 
the restoration of his image, of this humanity that he created. The triumph of orthodoxy is a triumph for us humans, and a triumph of a new reality, a new beginning of unity between heaven and earth. In all of this, let's look to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Amen. Let us all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say. Son and 
of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Christians, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. 
and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge the baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Thou hast brought all things to pass for us with righteousness and true judgment. 
but thou didst form man by taking dust from the earth, and didst honor him with thine own image, O God. Thou didst set him in the paradise of delight, promising him immortal life and the enjoyment of eternal good things and the observance of thy commandments. But when man disobeyed thee, the true God, who had created him, and was led away by the guile of the serpent, becoming subject to death through his own transgressions, thou, O God, in thy righteous judgment, did send him forth from paradise into this world, returning him to the earth from which he was taken, and providing for him salvation through rebirth in thy Christ himself. For thou didst not turn thyself away forever from thy creature whom thou hast made, O good one, nor didst thou forget the work of thy hands, but through the tender compassion of thy mercy thou didst visit him in various ways, thou didst send prophets, thou didst perform mighty works by thy saints, who in every generation were well pleasing to thee. Thou didst speak to us by the mouth of thy servants, the prophets, foretelling to us the salvation which was to come. Thou didst give us the law as a help. Thou didst appoint angels as guardians. And when the fullness of time had come, thou didst speak to us through thy Son himself, by whom thou didst also make the ages, who made the radiance of thy glory and the image of thy person, upholding all things by the word of his power. Thou did not robbery to be equal to thee, the God and Father, though he was God before the ages, yet he appeared on earth and lived among men, and becoming incarnate of a holy virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being likened to the body of our loneliness, that he might liken us to the image of his glory. For since by man sin entered into the world, and by sin death, so it pleased thine only God and Son, who was in the bosom of thee, the God and Father, who was born of a woman, the holy Theotokos, the ever Virgin Mary, who was born under the law, to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who were dead in Adam might be made alive in thy Christ himself. He lived in this world, and gave us commandments of salvation, and releasing us from the delusions of idolatry, he brought us to knowledge of thee, the true God and Father, obtaining for us for, obtaining us for himself, as his own people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and having cleansed us with water and sanctified us by the Holy Spirit, he gave himself as a ransom to death, in which we were held captive, sold under sin, and descending through the cross into hell, that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the things of death. And when he had risen on the third day, having made for all flesh a path to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible for the author of life, to be held by corruption. He became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence over all. Ascending into heaven, he sat down at the right hand of thy majesty on high, and he will come to render to every man according to his works. And as memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these things, which we have set forth according to his command. For when he was about to go forth, who is voluntary and ever memorable and life giving death, in the night in which he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and pure hands. And when he had shown it to thee, the God and Father, and had given thanks, and blessed it, and hallowed it, and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death, you confess my resurrection. Therefore we also, O Master, remembering his saving passion and life giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his... He gave it to his holy... Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine, and having mingled it and given thanks, having blessed it and hallowed it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. <laughs> Bread 
and drink this cup, we proclaim my death to confess our resurrection. Therefore we also, O Master, remembering the saving passion and life-giving cross, his being buried on the resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven, and sitting at the right hand of the God and Father, and his glorious and dread second coming. Offering unto thee, <coughs> thine own of thine own, on behalf of all and for all. We hear the Heal the sick, 
Remember, O God, those who are in courts, in mines, in exile, in harsh labor, and those in any kind of affliction, necessity, or distress. Remember, O Lord our God, all those who entreat thy great loving kindness, those who love us, those who hate us, those who have asked us to pray for them unworthy though we be. And remember all thy people, O Lord our God, and pour out thy rich mercy upon all of them, granting them all their petitions that are for their salvation. And do thou thyself, O God, remember all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness of the multitude of names, since thou knowest the name and age of each, even from his mother's womb. For thou, O Lord, art the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the storm, the haven of the voyager, the physician of the sick. Be all things to all men, O thou who knowest each man in his request, his home and his need. Deliver this city, O Lord, and every city and countryside from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, the sword, foreign invasion, and civil war. Among the first, remember, O Lord, our Metropolitan team, God, and our Archbishop Benjamin, grant them for thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and life of days, rightly to divide the word of thy truth. Compassion, grant us seasonable and healthful weather, send gentle showers upon the earth, so that it may bear fruit and bless the crown of the year with thy goodness. Make the schisms of the churches to cease, pacify the ragings of the pagans, and quickly destroy the uprisings of heresies by the power of thy Holy Spirit. Receive us all into thy kingdom, showing us to be sons of the light and sons of the day. Grant us thy peace and thy love, O Lord our God, for thou hast given all things to us. And grant that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and praise that all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages and ages. Amen. And the grace of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with thy spirit.
Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
prosperous and peaceful life, health and salvation, through and so blessed things. Grant, O Lord, to thy servants Catherine, John, John, Catherine, Emmanuel, Jonah, and Lumila, and preserve them for many years. God grant them many years, God grant them many years, God. registration for summer camp so I encourage all of our parents uh, to, to uh, get organized and, and fill out that registration and pay the deposit. I'm always so excited about our parish having basically almost all of our children uh, go to camp. It's really uh, kind of becomes a wonderful week for us. Uh, we have the Lenten retreat coming up in April on April 20th also please register for that soon. Uh, this evening, as I mentioned in my homily, we begin the great feast of the Annunciation of our Most Holy Lady Theotokos and of the Virgin Mary uh, with the festival vigil at 6 p.m., a uh, very special treat. And also for us, another special treat tomorrow evening, the Vesperal Divine Liturgy. It's the only time in the life of the church that the Divine Liturgy, the full Divine Liturgy, not the Chrysanthemum, but the full festive Divine Liturgy is celebrated during the weekdays of Great Lent. Uh, but because it's Great Lent, we push it to the end of the day to make our fast as full as possible. Um, so we'll have that liturgy at 6 p.m., followed by, I think, a festive fish supper, I believe, right? Yeah, that's good. That's wonderful. Um, and then we have our kind of normal Lenten schedule on Wednesday, evening for sanctified liturgy and pop up and then Friday morning, late morning, we'll have another for sanctified liturgy. On Saturday, we have our catechumen and inquirer class to which all are welcome uh, and vigil and next lit Sunday liturgy. Lots of wonderful ways to keep strengthened and to keep on track this great life. May God uh, keep us all on track as we uh, continue to I thank the Lord my God for that much opportunity that may be worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank you that thou hast permitted me one worthy to receive thy most glorious heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who loves mankind, for our sake, this I rise again and give us this these awesome and life creating mystery for the benefit and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Grant that they may be the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, of faith and the shame, the love and praying, the fulfilling of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the increase of thy divine grace, and the attainment of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace, and not for myself alone, but for thee, our master and benefactor. May I pass from this life in the hope of eternal life, and so attain to everlasting rest. With the voice of those who peace is unceasing, and the gladness of those who behold the ineffable joy of thy countenance and unity. With our true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, in all creation, sing thy grace forever. Amen. O Master, Christ our God, King of the ages and creator of all, I thank thee for all the good things which thou hast given me, and for this communion of most pure and life praising mysteries. Therefore, I entreat thee, O gracious lover of mankind. Keep me in thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings, and grant that even unto my last breath I may with a pure conscience worthily partake of thy holy things for the remission of sins unto life eternal. For as thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all goods, to be risked by glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Of thine own will thou hast given me thy body as food. O thou who art the fire, consume the unworthy. Consume me not to my creature, but rather enter into my very being, my members, my heart, and soul. Consume all the forms of my transgressions. Cleanse my soul and sanctify my thoughts. Make firm my knees and bones. Illumine my five senses. Nail me to complete spirit of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul destroying words and deeds. Purify me and wash me clean. Adorn me, give me understanding, and enlighten me. Show me to be a temple of thy one spirit, not the dwelling place of sin. May every evil thing, every carnal passion, wait for me to swim fire, as if it can make tabernacle through communion. I offer thee as nothing to to all the saints, the leaders of the body of the thy forerunner of the wise apostles, and thy dear and blameless mother. Accept their prayers, and my, thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant's child of light. 
for thou art only sanctification and life for our souls, everyone. And to thee, our Master and God, we ascribe glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, may thy holy body be created to eternal life, thy precious blood of commission of sins, that this Eucharist be my joy and health and gladness. Make me a sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory and awesome second coming to the prayer of the most new of his whole thy saints. O most holy many tale, to uphold the life of my heart and soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy. I thank you, thou hast permitted me, though unworthy, to be a partaker of thy most pure body and precious blood of thy son. O thou who gavest birth to the true light, grant the life of understanding to the eyes of my heart. O thou who gavest birth to the fountain of immortality, renew my beauty to my dead in sin. O loving mother of the mercies of God, have mercy on me, grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and the release from the slavery of my own reasonings, and felt safe that even unto my last breath, I may without condemnation receive the sanctification of these most pure mysteries to the healing of soul and body, and grant me tears of repentance and confession, and may praise and glorify all the days of my life, and thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Always now let us our servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to light in the Gentiles. And the glory of thy people is Christ. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the end of Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit us with joy, for making my name sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Let us come into the power of the Lord, the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Granted to all men and lordship which cannot be taken away, sealing with thy precepts of immortal obeys, O revealer of heaven. Thou and ever none to ages of ages, O men, steadfast the Christians of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise with the cry of us sinners, but in thy goodness and speedily to help us to call in me in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theophilus, but thou art perfect as those who honor thee. What have mercy, 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 what have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of the age. Amen. To our honorable and cherubim, more glorious, be unto the heaven and the seraphim. Without corruption, thou givest birth to God the Word, and through thy eternal ghost, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, bless the Master. Be Christ, serve God, the Prince, and the
I got rocked out of the building at 6 that was like a 15 minute delay, and then snooze twice in my room. Yeah, you got it. I'm like 